take a broken Aquila 16 to make a good drone from it. It's broken because I was learning to fly on it. I don't recommend this kit to anyone as a first for learning FPV. It's the worst thing you can get. If you want me to make a video about the best kit to enter FPV, write in the comments. In order to transform this drone, we will need a new VTX and flight controller because the ones installed in this drone work very badly and cannot be upgraded. New frame from Meteor 75 Pro. It is much lighter. And titanium screws are the best solution for such drones in combination of reliability and weight. I pick up a lot of this stuff at an internet flea market. So the whole upgrade cost me less than $30. But since not everywhere you can find these parts so cheaply, I also wrote the cost of new ones. From Aquila 16 remains only motors. Also, I'll try to leave the camera even though I do not like it, but it does not have a connection diagram, so most likely will not succeed. It's a pretty good flight controller. Now, BetaFPV have released a new version specifically for the DJI 04 Air unit. Hope to get to test it soon. And from this flight controller, we need to remove the motor connectors and replace the power connector with a BT 2.0. I tried to resolder the power connector from Aquila 16, but the connector is made of non-temperature resistant material and a little not calculated, the temperature of the soldering iron I melted it. I had to take a 180 degree BT 2.0 connector that I have left from the disassembled Air 65. Now solder the motors directly to the flight controller. And soldering a video transmitter. Since it is only known that the Aquila 16 was installed C02 camera, I tried to solder the power ground and video wires the same way as on it. But like I said, it didn't work. I checked the camera also on another, working VTX. The result was the same. Good thing I had another camera, C03 camera left over from Air 65. A new one like this is now $20, but an unpleasant surprise prepared for me the video transmitter it failed to work too, although on another drone earlier it worked properly. Well, that's the price of used parts. If you don't want such surprises, take everything new. I had to shell out some money for a new VTX. It cost me $13, but it's for the better since this VTX has a built-in microphone. I like it. Done. I spent $42 and some of my time on the whole thing. If you take all new parts, it will cost $70 to $77. Is it worth it or is it better to get a ready-to-use Meteor 75 Pro for $110? Write in the comments. Now let's weigh it. Just under 30 grams and 1 gram less than the Meteor 75 Pro from Beta FPV. Not bad result. 42 grams with 450 milliamp battery and 44 grams with 550 milliamp battery Welcome to HTX. Let's see how it flies. I used the factory firmware from Meteor 75 Pro Thanks a lot for watching, subscribe to the channel, leave comments and see you soon.